So I've been meaning to make a video showing more of what we've got going in our makerspace area. So here's our room. And right coming in, I put up a bookshelf with just various books for kids to look at. No one's really grabbed anything, read any yet. Also magazine rack. Got a closet right there. I'm kind of putting craft stuff in there. Still think about what to get, use it for, and use it better. As we come in, again, here's a quick overview of the room. I'm walking around. Got a Raspberry Pi station here, and my new Echo Dot that we're playing with to see what happens. Um, a storage place and a charging place for my iPads. Originally, that was going to be a place to put notebooks for the class, but we don't really use the notebook for the class. I don't like the notebook that they created. Um, so, And this is my 3D printer shelf and some storage space underneath for crafts. And then over here on the left is things that the seniors or the, the high school kids are been taking apart, looking at how things are made. Uh, this is where we're putting the blankets, material that we're making blankets. And then we have four shelves because I have four classes doing PLTW. So those are one shelf for each class to put their projects on, as you can see. Um, then we got a nice little workbench here that we put together. And I'm sticking my, right now, the sewing machine's under there. I probably really need to put, get them back over there, clean that up a little bit. So you can see the projects that the kids have been putting together for um, automation robotics. Uh, craft table that we were using to do um, lip balm on that. And now we're gonna try and maybe do some uh, getting beeswax out of honeycomb. And actually have a couple crock pots for that that I need to bring back here. Um, cutting mats for kids to do t-shirts during our IE. Uh, they can cut out the stencils um, and you create something like that, you spray paint. You water down some paint, put it in a spray bottle. You iron the stencil on. The stencil is really just um, freezer paper because it's got a waxy back so it'll stick on when you iron it. Uh, and again, you know, there's our tables, different heights. I had took the motors away because kids just kept playing with it too much and they wouldn't pay attention to where the cord was and they kept running over the cord and bringing the table down on top of the cord and, and they'd have these two tables like right next to each other and they'd try to bring the right table down and it kept just, they'd try to bring the right table down and just kept screwing up the motor because it kept hitting on top of this table and they didn't know what was going on. It won't move, it won't move. Well, yeah. Um, try to have a shelf that I made for different materials, our graphing paper, colored pencils, crayons, uh, markers, the different mar the expo markers, and uh, permanent markers, glue sticks. Uh, all my permanent markers disappeared, interestingly enough. My big wall. Again, I'm, I'm waiting for the fire department to come in and do a little inspection and tell us if we can move that um, fire alarm in the middle. So I'd really like to put all whiteboard on that wall because that projected area, which is an awesomely big projected area, I'd prefer to be more towards the middle um, than all the way over there. And then the rest could just be whiteboard space to write on. So right now I really don't have a whiteboard space to write on unless I temporarily mount one of these up here. And of course Christmas trees for Christmas area. Right now I've got a projector sitting here in the middle that eventually I'd like to mount up top once we figure out where the whiteboards are gonna go. Um, so this will become more usable space and maybe I could move my teacher station elsewhere. Um, I picked up a large format 13 by 19 printer to do like little small posters and some photography that the, some of the kids are doing in art class. Uh, they can do, it's like a photo printer. It does a really good job. It was only like $150. I really want a 24 inch wide printer to do posters and designs. Well, that starts at $1,000 and I don't have that money right now. Uh, toolkit. I bought a TV uh, before Black Friday because it was on sale with Black Friday prices. And I have a cart to put it on, a movable stand, and hopefully something else to come. And it's a smart TV, so like I'd be streaming YouTube, my channel of YouTube, 
uh, the things that we've got going on, the, the uh, tutorial videos I've made. And I'm hoping to get this device called a TouchJet Wave, which is like an arm that sticks on top and it makes it an Android tablet. And then here's our storage spaces, just a general rack. Um, some nice little drawer racks that have different things in them. Those are some of the extra Vex Robotics stuff. And then the storage racks for all the Vex Robotics kits that the kids are using. And then there is our laptop cart and our uh, color printer, laser printer. Now I've got this storage closet, like that's with the light on. So we kind of need to do some electrical work in here and I need to clean up and figure out really what I want in here. But until it's actually light enough to see, it's not worth much, but I got tools on there. And the other side of this room is pretty much all cardboard that I save from boxes for things to build. And then the final place in my area is kind of my office, which is this is uh, different uh, maker stuff, steam stuff for the high school kids. And then I've got like a kitchen kind of stuff, foil wrap, uh, plates, cups, rags, uh, pots, pans, tablecloths to put on the tables, things like that. Uh, tech junk closet I got to go through a little bit my refrigerator an old 3d print uh, 3d printer we never got working and then again another storage with some tech stuff a um, little messy my stereo that I gotta eventually figure out where I want to put my stereo uh, once we get things in place I actually have a stereo on a cart right now so that is my area oh one more thing I bought this light it's a 13,000 lumen LED. It's actually kind of heavy. Um, I want to try it. It's a dimmable LED. So I'd like to try it and see how much light it puts up and then maybe we can replace those old fluorescents. Give us an idea. Um, we just have to learn how to wire it, mess with it. So that is my space right now. And hopefully we'll be tweaking and adding stuff as we go along.